Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another video of the Project Beach Jeep Engine Teardown. We're gonna be taking some more stuff apart in just a minute, but first I wanted to show you some of the parts that we already have removed. So after the last video, I ended up taking like an inventory of some of the good parts and some of the bad parts. And let me show you what we got. We got an intake manifold and throttle body. We got the coil packs. We got an AC compressor. We got the compressor bracket and the pulley that holds the clutch fan. We got the clutch fan and we have an alternator. All these parts were from the black parts Jeep and I want to use these because they have a whole lot less miles than the parts I'm going to take off of this thing. This power steering pump I pulled from this Cherokee but I shredded the line trying to take it apart. It was rusted and corroded. So I got a new one on eBay and another part that I broke was the belt tensioner bolt. Wow, corrosion. Broke that right off. Garbage. Uh, I found the belt tensioner from the parts car. So, you know what, I'll just show you. Let's take a walk. So I found the belt tensioner from the black parts Jeep and I uh, took that apart and I threw all the nuts and bolts in this tumbler. Love this thing. Let's see how they turned out. Hey, here's the pulley. Alright, so here are all the parts from uh, the belt tensioner that I'm going to uh, restore. Now let me show you what I did with the bracket. Here's the bracket all clean and painted and uh, ready to flip it. Paint the other side. All right, so that's the inventory update. So let's go back to Project Beach Jeep and start tearing more stuff apart. All right, so the first thing we're gonna take off today is the alternator. It's the last accessory on the front of the engine. Uh, to take off the alternator, you got a 15 millimeter bolt up here and a 15 millimeter bolt down there. And in the back, you have a connector that I think is 12 millimeter and just the plug behind it. So I'm gonna set this up and take off the alternator. Yeah, it's a pretty tight fit in there, but you'll be able to wiggle it out. Alright, I think now I'm just going to take everything off, working my way from the top to the bottom.
I've seen a lot of Cherokees with completely rotted out fuel rails. This one doesn't look too bad. I think I'm going to scrub it down, paint it, reuse it, just like all the other parts. Um, these fuel injectors are still only the one hole. I did the four hole injector upgrade on my black Cherokee. Um, I'm going to upgrade these also, but if anybody has done the 12 hole injectors, uh, let me know. I wanted to try that, so if it's good, I'll do that. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's teardown. Please give this video a like and please subscribe so you can continue to follow Project Beach Jeep. And I'll see you guys on the next project.